Well, now to a case that certainly led to an emotional sentencing almost three years ago. A man convicted of killing his ex-girlfriend's young son. That conviction was just overturned. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. The question now is whether he'll be prosecuted for this again or go free. Two on your side's Michael Wooten has a response from both sides of the case. New at five. Michael? Mary Alice and Scott, all along, Raymond Gonzalez maintained his innocence, even as a judge was sentencing him to 10 years in prison after finding him guilty back in 2016. Gonzalez broke down during that sentencing three years ago, saying, quote, I did not do this crime. Well, today, a panel of appeals court judges reversed his conviction, saying the case was entirely circumstantial and that there was not enough evidence to find him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And from the time the crime allegedly happened in 2010 until Gala Gonzalez arrest almost five years later, the appellate court found that nothing really changed with the evidence. That was problematic. There wasn't much evidence that was different and all that they were relying on in the long run were these incredibly minor inconsistencies between his statements. Um, and that isn't enough to sustain a conviction of, with proof beyond a reasonable doubt. We should point out two of the five judges on this panel disagreed. They wanted the conviction to stand. And so did Erie County's top prosecutor, the district attorney. We got a chance to speak with John Flynn late this afternoon. He said he was disappointed in this ruling, although the rules technically prohibit him from appealing it to the highest court in the state. We'll hear more from the DA coming up new tonight at 6 o'clock. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.